All right, day three. We got camp all cleaned up. Got some wood for the next people. We're gonna head over to the next pond. I'll probably bring the my bag and the food bag over. Tracy will bring her bag and the paddles and stuff over. I'll come back, get the boat. The portages are pretty short this time. It's one pond we want to fish at on the way there. And then head up to the next pond where we'll be staying at. We'll be there for three nights. There's a whole clump of ponds around the campsite we're hoping to get. Taking the boat to the next pond now. It's not too far away from here. There was a stream that connects the two, but it's really tiny. There's no way I'd get the boat through it. So we got the boat all loaded up and we're headed across this next pond. A short portage across. A small pond. So we got our gear and stuff down to this next pond. We're going back to get the boat. It's a really easy trail. Colors are out in full force. Yeah, this trail is pretty easy compared to the, the last one where I sunk past my knee in mud after commenting on how many people did the same thing. But I don't feel too bad because we saw eight other people that came through that had the same thing happen to them. Tracy beat me up here. But we made it. We're gonna get across here, go have some lunch for a minute, it's a little snack, and then fish for a little bit here. Probably like an hour or so, and then head to where we're hoping to camp. We just passed a group that we saw early when we got here. 
They said they didn't catch any fish. They stayed at a different pond. We're going to be passing through the pond that they stayed at, but we stayed there this spring. That's where I got the nice splake and that big lake trout. Looks like it should be a decent pond to fish. And get our gear over there. Have something to eat. And give it a shot. Water's like glass. We're gonna fish this pond for a little bit. Head back, set up camp. We passed a group of people who said that there's pretty much nobody by the ponds that we're headed to, so that's a good sign. Yeah, I haven't seen any bites on mine either. They're like a light, it's like a light switch with these guys. Like last night I went out for a while and then all of a sudden, boom, I got that one. So we didn't end up getting anything here. We didn't stay very long. We wanna just get over and set up camp. Got a, one more short portage and then paddle over to the campsite we're hoping to stay at. Set up camp, get some firewood together, maybe fish this evening at some of those ponds. We got a few days to try them all out. Pretty short portage this time. I think it's half of what the other one was. The last one. Yeah, I can see water already.
There's some feathers on the water here. Hmm. Is it me or does one of those look like a baby? Yeah, I think it is. It's juvenile. Like the one we saw the other day. It's, they're lighter. Yeah. Like the adults are very dark. Yeah. Those are like grayish almost. Oh, we can see. Look down. Oh, wow. Is that the bottom? Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Really shallow right here. All right, so we got to our campsite here. It was vacant, which we're very happy about, because this is an awesome site, it looks like. It's a decent sized pond. Get the boat unloaded. Gonna get the tent set up and everything. See what our firewood situation is around here. Our last campsite, we were lucky because there was so much firewood right close to the um, to the campsite. Sometimes we get lucky like that. Other times we gotta go. It seems like quite a ways just to be able to find anything. But definitely excited about this campsite. We're going to be here for three nights. We got ponds that way. There's one down that way. We're right in the clump of a bunch of ponds right here. Looks pretty good. We'll see how it is. We just climbed to the top of this hill here, this esker. It's straight up and then straight down to the next pond over here. This isn't exactly the portage trail into that pond. But I just wanted to check it out because we're looking for firewood and stuff. I'm going to head down and fish the pond we're staying at for a little while. And while I'm out there, I'm probably going to paddle over and check out the takeout to get into that pond next. Looks like we got a huge chunk of chaga here. Gonna take a little chunk home. So I came out here to do some fishing. There's rainbow trout, brook trout, and splake in here. I'll take either of them. 
Nice to catch something. I talked to a few people today. Said they haven't had any luck fishing at all. So, we'll see. Seems like it's like a light switch this year. They don't bite at all, and then all of a sudden they start biting. Looks like I got some company out here fishing in me. That must be the carry right there to get to the next pond over here, over the hill. So I'm gonna check that out. Fish aren't really biting for anybody today. Everybody I talk to. I wanna go check out this other pond though. I'm not gonna fish it right now. Probably do it tomorrow. I'll fish this one tomorrow morning, head over that way tomorrow afternoon, and then doing some of the other ponds the following day. Looks like a heck of a steep portage, but it is what it is. Wow, this is one heck of a hill here. Up and then down. Whew. At least now I'll be able to see how the I'll be able to get down to the water over there. It was way too deep of a hill. Wow, nice looking pond. Decent size.
definitely quite the hill. Like I said, tomorrow we'll be tackling that one. Probably in the afternoon. Maybe the morning. Maybe I just want to come over and get up and over that hill first thing in the morning and then just fish that pond most of the day. Bring some food with us. I'm gonna do a couple laps more. Hopefully catch something. I'm gonna replace the worm. It's a little beat up. But we'll see. I think I'm gonna put a different color wobbler on too. Just try everything I can. See the campfire going over there. I don't know if it's the wind or what's going on today with the fish not really biting. I have had better luck when it's calmer. Best luck is when it's raining. This almost looks like a campsite up here. I'm gonna go check it out. I like to just explore sometimes too. Definitely doesn't look like a designated site, I don't think. I don't see any markers. Starting to drop off. Let's see what this does. I put a different wobbler on, one that I've had success with before, and a new worm. We'll see. It's nice when the wind's going just the right speed. You don't have to mess with the paddle or anything. It's a little stealthier that way. Yeah, it's gonna be a nice sunset, it looks like. We should get a halfway decent sunrise too. Pretty cool looking over there. Still no bites. I'm just gonna call it a night for fishing. I'm hungry, time to have some dinner. Probably gotta get some firewood. Hopefully tomorrow brings more luck. Heating up some water for coffee. I should be able to hang it. Then we don't have to use a pot holder. I'll just grab a stick to pull it off. A 
we'll see how it works. Got some chili I dehydrated along with some spaghetti sauce. We'll probably be having some of that during our stay here. So that'll be a perfect way to heat that up. But this should be good enough to boil this water we need for right now. And we're gonna have some steaks, the last two steaks we have for dinner here. Get up tomorrow and go fishing. Probably try that pond across the across the hill there in the after probably the afternoon. I still haven't made up my mind. I'm sure we'll figure it out. I've had the last two steaks cooking up here. Along with some water boiling up for some mashed potatoes again. And tomorrow we have some burgers and a few other things left meat-wise. Then we're going to have to go to the dehydrated food. Spaghetti, chili, a few other things. we get, still got plenty of food left. Calling it a night. Just letting the fire die down once it's dead. I'm going to go to bed. Had another good dinner here. I'm gonna fish tomorrow quite a bit. Got a long day of fishing ahead of us. If we get skunked again, we'll probably wind up going to the next pond a night earlier instead of staying here three nights. But either way, it's been a great time. We didn't get skunked for the whole trip, at least we got one fish so far each. Definitely want to get more than that, but we'll see. So I got up early this morning, I went out and I did a, I trolled down here to this point, so I'm searching for firewood. There's like nothing by the campsite, so I'm going to get some firewood together and then go have some breakfast and go back out fishing again. This is a takeout right here. It's a portage trail to a, another pond down here that I wanted to try. A couple guys came from here yesterday. They didn't catch anything. They said they tried everything. Flies, worms, wobblers. Check this pond out real quick. Oh yeah, privy. I'm guessing this is the campsite. It's actually pretty nice. As far as being tucked away from the wind, not the best views. But Nice looking pond. Definitely gonna give it a shot.
Looks like I'm gonna be getting wet to be able to get in the water. With the boat, it's not much of a foot in here, it doesn't look like. Maybe right here. Oh yeah. Right here, that's not too bad. So I got a decent amount of firewood here. So loading the boat up, head over, have some bacon and eggs for breakfast. I was surprised there's like no firewood at our campsite. Went down here to the other end of the pond and there's quite a bit. Where are you going, boat? There we go. That should get us some wares. Hopefully the wind doesn't pick up too much. I don't feel like fighting it the whole way back. That pond down there though is like glass. Thinking about going to these other ponds. This one just constant wind. Not terrible, but when you're trying to troll, it makes it tough. breakfast, some bacon and eggs. Now we're gonna try fishing out here. We have some luck. I have a little Phoebe on right now.
making our way up and over this hill into the next pond we're gonna try that out had no bites on our pond that we're camping at try over here I guess hopefully have better luck especially since it's such a steep hill Looks a little calmer out there at least. It wasn't too bad, it's just pain in the neck, fighting the wind. Here comes the fun part. Wasn't too terrible. Sammy's not much of a swimmer, but he'll get in the water a little bit like this and take a drink, lay down if it's shallow enough. What do you say, bud? So we're out here on this pond that's over up on the other side of the hill. Very little wind so far compared to the other pond. Got a wobbler and a worm. Oop, I got some bites. I think I got a fish. Feels like it. Could be. Yep. A little brookie. Wow. Oops. Easy, bud. Easy, easy. There he goes. Hey, that's a good sign. Well, it's definitely worth bringing the boat over. Yep. Not very big, but hey, it beats what we've been catching. Well, I just looked at the footage of me catching that fish and I couldn't even see the fish. It wasn't. I didn't have the GoPro facing down enough. And Sammy's not even happy about it. Well, at least we got one on the board now for today.
gonna stop and take a little break. And then come back, maybe do a lap or two. Go, over, go back over to camp, have some lunch. And then I'm gonna head back to the pond that I got firewood from this morning, fish that this evening. We might get out of here tomorrow morning instead of staying for another night. That way we can stay at the next pond for two nights because it's quite the portage to get in there. But I've been told it's a really nice campsite there and good fishing. So this is the pond we stayed at when we went, came here back in May. This is the far end of it. It's a little trail here with a little stream next to it that dumps into the pond that we were just fishing in back here. Got one out of here so far. We're gonna stop and take a little break. So this is a nice little campsite we found up here at this pond. Nice little bench, nice fireplace. Really nice view of this pond. We're gonna have to definitely camp here one of these nights. Not on this trip, but Probably in the springtime. Really can't beat the views of this. This site's really nice. At least I got one out of here. Found a really cool campsite over there. We're gonna camp at next time we come here. Should probably be springtime. Gonna go have some lunch and then hit that other pond over there. Now we got the steep hill to go down. No.
There we go. Back at our home pond. Short but steep. All right, so that was fun. Went over, got one brookie. I wish I would have got him on the camera a little better. Oh well, I'm getting better as we go. Come back, have some lunch. We're gonna head over to the other pond. Go fish that this, e this uh, late afternoon into this evening. Come back, have dinner. Tomorrow, move on. I was trying a Phoebe through here earlier. Yeah. No nope. Yeah. Like I said, it's like a light switch. Go from catching nothing and then you catch something. Uh -huh. It's like they eat for 10 minutes throughout the day and that's it. And you better be fishing that 10 minutes. Hard to beat that, that view. Heading back to this pond. A little bit of firewood there, we're gonna cut up on our way out of here. Very short walk. This is one interesting put in here. Let me know when I'm clear back there. Okay. Getting in. Ooh. Boom. Sorry, vlog. <laughs> Tricky. Hopefully this is worth it. Yep. There's one over there too.
That's about all you'll hear out here. That and the loons. We haven't had a bite here yet, even. Done a full lap. Trolling. She's casting the spinner. So we're just doing one little loop here. And then we gotta get some firewood as the sun's going down. No bites here. It's worth a shot. Definitely a nice pond. Really, really still water the whole time we were here. Just wasn't our day. Making our way up to the our home pond. Gonna scoop up some firewood, bring it back, make some dinner. Move on tomorrow. So I think we got enough wood busted up. Plus this log here, I should have enough for tonight and enough to leave for the next guests. Yeah, so we got a decent pile here. So now we're headed back over to camp. We got all our firewood here. Didn't get any fish back there, but that's all right. I'm sure we'll be back at that pond at some point in time. Maybe next year. I did notice a pile of eggs on the shoreline on a log. Somebody must have caught a brook trout with eggs in it. They look pretty fresh. Oh wow, look at the moon over there. I'm going to come out and do some night fishing. Okay. It's so calm. And the moon's out, so that'll help. I have some dinner and then go out for a little bit. So this is the chili I was talking about, I dehydrated. Doesn't look like much right now. But we're gonna put it in this water here. I heated up a little bit ago. Let it soak that water up. And I'm gonna hang it over the, um, the fire for a little bit. See how it turns out. Looks pretty good.
Got some cheddar worse. They split open a little bit. They'll still be good. And I got some chili. Got some shoes drying there. Next to the fire. The chili was amazing. It's really easy to make. I cooked it up about two weeks ago. Put it in a dehydrator. Dehydrated it for like 14 hours. Put it in the freezer. So it was time to come here. Heated some water up. Put the dehydrated chili in there for a little bit and let it do its thing. Turned out really good though. Gonna let the fire die down. Get up in the morning. Head to the new pond. We got one pond in between. We're gonna fish that. That's the one we were at. At our other video from back in May. I've got splake and lake trout out of there. Not going to spend too much time. We want to get over to this campsite that we've been hearing about. But we'll see what tomorrow brings. At least landed one brookie today. Fished three different ponds. And that's all that bit. Well, we'll see. Either way, it's been awesome here.